Hi, and welcome to my channel. I am Tammy Osterk, the designer of badbobbin.com. Today, I am gonna show you part two of how to make the welcome bear sign. We're making the head today, we'll be attaching the body to the head to complete the bear, and then we'll be making the welcome sign on top. Then I'll show you how to put everything together and make the bows and the ties and everything to complete your welcome bear. Let's begin. All right. We are going to do the head of the bear now. This is the last part for the bear. And then the welcome sign is done separate and doesn't need to have any joining of anything. So I have my um, same thing, my fabric, my pelon, uh, the really stiff, stiff stuff. <laughs> so that is the uh, pelon 71F. There's fusible and non-fusible. And I'm gonna get uh, my felt for the back. I'm using the larger hoop. It can be done in a five by seven, but I'm using the larger hoop for the head of the bear so that I have enough room to attach the body part to it and make sure it's taped well and um, really butt up against it. I'm sure that if it's in the hoop, um, if it was like, like the five by seven hoop, it, you've got this little lip, so you're gonna try to be getting it in there, you know, to match up with the lip of that. So. My recommendation would be the larger hoop, the six by 10. And I've also moved the pattern to the top of the hoop. That way there'll be enough room at the bottom to lay the, uh, the body and the arms part. So just recommendations, little tips of what to do and how. And then we have our little Velcro, uh, Velcro piece also. Same thing, I'm going to use the loopy part on the bear and I'm going to save this part for his little hat. So I will stitch out the first step and there's also features on the face that are going to sew out with this as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is my placement line. Okay, I'm gonna do a little tacky spray. And we're going to attach our fabric part and pell on to the top for his head. We'll go ahead and stitch out the tack down and then the facial features will also stitch out. So the same thing as the other one, it's going to either stitch out, sorry, for my reach again. <laughs> uh, it's gonna stitch out where to either put the snaps or where to put um, your Velcro. I'm gonna go ahead and do both so that you'll see on this one what it actually looks like. And like I said, you can either skip this step or do this step and skip the other ones if you're not gonna do Velcro or the snaps, either one. You can't do both, you can only do one or the other. Um, because the snap just isn't gonna fit right on top of the Velcro. So it's um, not really easy to see it, but there's two little, the two little circles here, and that's what uh, are for the snaps, if you're gonna do snaps, and they'll line up with the clothing. 
Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and do my square for my Velcro, since that's what I started with. do my stick glue again on my little piece here. Pull it out. I'll go ahead and line it up across the top and like I said you can have it a little bit bigger. You can always uh, cut the ends off if it's a little bit longer than the actual stitch. Same thing again if you want you can use um, Tear away stabilizer over the top if you don't want it to fray your st uh, thread if it's happening to um, shred it from the loops. If not, don't need to. Okay. So our Velcro is done and we're going to go ahead and we'll end up cutting this when we do all our trimming and stuff later when we get it all put together. So have our Velcro on and we have the back side. If you want you can singe the threads on the back side which is what I like to do. Sorry for the reach again. <laughs> um, I like to, to, to singe them just so that nothing pulls through that they're kind of like uh, just almost like tying a knot beating it. little little acrylic bead on the end there from singeing it so it keeps it from pulling through on the front. All right, and we're going to go ahead and add our felt. There we go. We'll place it on the back and the same thing with this or not same thing but with this uh, part of the stitching or this for the head part it's about 14 minutes with a thousand stitch per minute machine and it's 6,146 stitches for the head. So I'm going to attach the felt now. and start with our back side first and we're going to carefully cut away our felt. Um, there we go. Sorry for the reach again. And the same thing with this one at the very b bottom. Uh, the very bottom here on both sides, we want to cut it really close to the neck part, to his chin. And the next step that it's going to do once it's cut, it's going to give us two guidelines of where the body should line up um, of the arms coming or the body part coming down. So that I did in a different color just to show you. Here we go. to add the body. All right, so here's our body ready to go. I singed all around the sides and I cut really close on the neck and I'm going to take a look again. I'm going to kind of see how I line this up and I might want to take just a, a tad bit more, you know, below that line just to make sure that, you know, I cut it right on that stitch line. So I want to make sure that we're there.
There we go. A little bit extra there. Alrighty. So it gave me the two lines here and those two red lines. Get rid of this. Um, they're not going to be seen, but as we um, put his head up, these red lines are going to come down on his body here. So that's where those lines should be lining up. So if we turned it over, um, I don't want to misplace this, and I think I just did, but if we turned it over when it lined up, those stitch lines should run right along the, the lines that are on his body. You can kind of see that. All right. Let's turn it back over and let's actually cut into my stitch. Just a little bit of stick glue to help keep it down. And I think I cut too far into my fabric over here by accident. So I'm going to line the body up and his chin and make sure those arm parts, and we can overlap just a tiny bit if you want onto it. And I'm going to tape that down really good to make sure it's going to stay where it needs to. his arms down up there too. This time I think we got it good. I think we overlapped just good enough. And I'm going to use a little bit more tape. Sorry, I think I just moved the camera. Sorry about that. I'm going to tape this body, his body down just a little bit more to the stabilizer. And that way it can't pull apart and, and move on us. There we go. Lots of tape on this guy. <laughs> and I taped his arms down too to keep him upwards. So we're all taped and we're pushed right up on that line. I've actually overlapped it a tiny bit. And our last stitch out will be the satin stitch around his head. And here we go. Okay, perfect, we're done. It matched up great on the neck again. Perfect, yes, everything worked out good. Always check the back to make sure it's good as well before we unhoop. So we're gonna go ahead and un we're gonna untape. We're gonna uh, take the tape off and I will meet you at the cutting table on how we're going to finish this. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do will be the welcome sign part for the top and then we'll finish it off. 
Okay, we're ready to do our last part, which is going to be the welcome sign part. And I've kind of left it, um, I decided I'm going to go ahead and keep it at the brown like the bare, kind of like a wood effect, I guess, for the welcome part. So um, I've done the same fabric and same for the hardness on the back using that uh, Pellon. And we're going to do a the welcome part. You can leave the welcome part out and always put something else in. When it comes to that step, you can stop it, uh, put your own lettering in, and just kind of go back and forth. Or if you have editing program, uh, you can go ahead and do that as well. You can change the name in there. Instead of saying welcome, you can put maybe the family's name or something in there. So that's just an idea for you. Same thing, we're doing felt on the back. And we have our two pieces of Velcro for the little decorations that are gonna go on the sign. I'm utilizing, since it only did the one little part in the bear, I added a little piece of stabilizer in there and I'm gonna use the bottom part, which has more stabilizer on my hoop and save money that way. So here we go. First step, same thing. It's gonna be uh, our placement stitch. Got caught on there, a little thread. We're going to use tacky spray and put it over our placement line. The next stitch will be our tack down for our sign. Then it's gonna go into uh, stitching out the word welcome. All right, so here's that same spot for our Velcro or snaps. So it's going to either do the round for a snap placement, or we can skip that part and go to the square placement parts for the Velcro. And I'm just gonna go ahead and skip the uh, snaps, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the square placements for our Velcro. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use just the loopy side and save the soft side for the uh, for the outfit area or out outfit portion. And I did cut these a little big. I'm going to go ahead and cut them now, kind of down to size. And let's see. Sorry, scissors. There we go. Get my armpit there. Sorry. <laughs> and I cut them down just a little bit. I'll end up cutting more. Uh, probably because when it gets to where my eyelets are for the holes. All right, and I'm going to use my um, same thing, my stick glue, just to kind of keep them down. we 
go. Number two, line it up. There we go. And I'm going to put it back in and I'm going to tack down where the Velcro pieces are. crooked but nobody will see them when they have little <laughs> tchotchkes on them we'll call them tchotchkes okay i'm going to add my back piece and that'll be our felt oh stuck to the velcro <laughs> and i'm going to a little bit of tacky spray put it on the back same thing and i'm gonna singe my little threads on this one too. That way it kind of tucks them in as well. And on the lettering, keep it from fraying. There we go. And add our back piece. going to now run the tack down for our felt for the back. All right, and I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to cut my felt out towards the stitch line, just like the rest of the pieces we did, but we're not going to be joining anything to this one. And then I'm going to go to the front and cut the front part. And my scissors, you need a really good pair of scissors for these. Sharp flannel, fleece, felt, and this pellon just are not good for scissors. It just dulls them very quickly. So I have my brand new pair today. I was struggling last time. Okay, we're done cutting it out. Make it close. And uh, we're going to put it back in, and it's going to stitch out our um, eyelet places for where we're going to hang it with our um, string or twine or whatever ribbon. Uh, those will sew out, and then it's going to sew our final uh, satin stitch all around, and that'll be our final for the welcome sign. And the welcome sign with a 1,000 stitch per minute machine takes approximately 24 minutes to stitch and it's got 12,362 stitches on this one. So here we go. All right, and we're done. Everything looks good. We're gonna go ahead and check the back as well. Everything looks good on the back. Everything looks good on the front. We'll take it out of the uh, hoop and everything and prepare it. And we'll go to the cutting table to finish off our welcome bear. See you at the cutting table. Okay, we're at the cutting table with our final portion of the bear. 
and um, I've saved my Velcro pieces and this is the soft side, not the loop side. These will be for the little outfit and that'll be another video for the outfits. So I'm gonna set those aside and our paperwork that we have for all the different body parts, set that aside as well. So I'm going to unhoop and tear away the stabilizer and trim around it and any other places I need to trim the threads. And the Velcro is not going to be seen. I don't think you want to leave your bear without any clothes on. Naked bear. So, but I still want it to, to be, you know, kind of nice looking. A little harder with it being the loopy one, but it's, it's working. We're getting it. And these are inexpensive 99 cent store scissors. They're no big deal scissors. I don't use good scissors on things that are tough or hard like the Velcro or the uh, felt or fleece. Those are really hard things that dull your scissors. So everyone keeps asking about scissors to use. Inexpensive right here. 99 cent store. Use them on vinyl. So and these ones here, if you can see, they kind of cut a little bit on the top. So I don't want to cut into those stitches. So I went ahead and left them there. So we've got our bear and we've got our sign. And whoops, this is the one we need. We need this tool. So um, we're gonna go ahead and use, this is a leather punch that you can get. Um, and I'm gonna use the largest hole, which is 1134, or I'm sorry, 1164. I can't read. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and line it up right smack in the center of our eyelets that were here and punch the holes. And we'll get that, we'll pop that out. Second, and we've got another one. All right, I'm gonna use, use my little scissors, punch out the centers. You may have to clip them, they may not have cut this one, there's a couple layers, so it didn't cut the felt very well. So like that one, you can see it kind of kind of uh, had a little string hanging from it. And then once I cut that, I'm also going to kind of just do a little singe with the, the lighter on the eyelets, just to keep those threads down in. Just in case you may have cut, clipped or cut a thread with the um, with your scissors if you did it that way, or with the punch. You know, sometimes it, that little line and the little thread might just catch it in the punch and cut. So I'm just going to singe a little bit. Poke that one up like I need to go the other way. So this one caught as well. We'll cut it. And this one as well. Punch it through. All right, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to singe a little bit. Get those loose little threads there we go. And that one's got a little tiny, there we go. Okay, so we have our bear. Let's move some stuff out of the way. And the sign goes above. So there's, there's different things. I've got, you know, different materials here to use uh, for hanging with it. And it's up to you on how far you want the sign to be from his paws. It's, it's you know, you can adjust it 
uh, figure it out, you know, how, how much, if you, you know, want to want the hat, sorry, I'm, t I'm looking at it. If you, you know, if you want the hat to come up and cover your sign. So, um, there's, there's no real distance that you need to have or, you know, mandatory. So it's up to you on how far you want your sign. So the best you want to look, you know, portionable. So we have different materials that you can use. There's ribbon that, um, you know, we can use plain ribbon. You can use, this is a nylon rope or nylon cord in black. Um, I found some paracord. It was on clearance for $1.50. Great deal. Sometimes you might need it for something. And I happened to pick it up a while ago when it was on clearance. So this would be, you know, work good and look, maybe look cute on the sign, you know, since everything's in the browns. So I was thinking of using the paracord. I'm going to show you the different ways of what we can do. You can do just um, the basic tying. Let me grab this out of here for now. All right. So I kind of kind of adjusted and went, oh, I just want to do a loop here and tie a knot and then just kind of singe the end. So leaving with a knot, we're at about 10 inches. And I kind of wrote that down too, that it's eight to 10 inches. You know, I wrote it on my own paper here, eight to 10 inches for the hanging piece here, if you're just gonna do a hang with a knot. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. And we'll go ahead and thread it through. And the one side, you know, when we got it, one side is melted to keep it from fraying. So we use that side to thread it. And I'm gonna turn it over. And then I'm just gonna join the two pieces. Um, I'm gonna take my lighter a little bit to, to do it since it's gonna melt a bit here. Very careful that it is hot. I'm gonna cut that piece. Ah, since it's not joining properly. Paracord, interesting to work with. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut that even. Scissors are bad. And then I'm going to singe the ends of it a little bit, melt it down, wet my fingers so that it's not going to burn. There we go. So, and we'll do the simple gather them together. And tie the knot together. And then I'm going to push it all the way down. So this might be a little thick, but this is just, you know, one option. I can keep the knot you know, towards the back. That's kind of where I did put it. So you don't see the knot, it's at his hand down below. So that's one way we can use that for it to hang. So that's the one way you have the knot in the back. And then the same thing up here, we can either have the hanger. This is another thing where it's whatever, whatever size you want for the hanger. Same thing I would, um, I'm going to put it through the holes and I'll just put a knot in the back with this. And the knot won't come undone because it's you know big enough and the hole is yet small enough. I did wet my fingers, <laughs> so still a little warm. So that would be another thing is to um, you know string it through, tie a knot here, string it through the other side and tie a knot, and let's tie do that and I'll show it to you. And I'll make it tight so the knot's not going to come through. It's kind of big so it won't come through. And we'll, just, we'll end up trimming that too and, and then melting it down. So that's one way of, of using the cord here as well. And then, uh, you know, same thing, I'll loop the other side. I'm going to come out this way. So the, the end will be in the back of the paw. I'm going to come out and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go from the front to the back. Sorry, I did that opposite, backwards. And then I'm going to go... Um, and do the same thing. I'm going to feed it from the front to the back. Sorry, my mistake. Alrighty. Okay. So, and this is pretty much the same tying as like the um, ornaments. All right. So, uh, I want to make these straight. So I'm going to twist this back in so that it's kind of straight. There we go. And I'm going to bring both pieces around. We'll adjust it to where we want. 
There we go. So we're going to bring the pieces around like so. And then I'm going to do my right over left. So I want to make sure that the, the piece that's on my right, so I'm going to move the, the spool around so that it's out here. So this piece that's over here on my right is on the top. So it's the same thing. Um, same thing as the ornament piece is coming out. So my right side is at the top and my left loop here is down at the bottom. And I'm going to tie it a little bit. I'm going to make my loop with the top one. And the tail is at the bottom, so I'm going to loop it around the bottom, come across the top, and then I'm going to pull my loop out. And this is going to be a tiny bow, but I mean you'll adjust your, your ribbon to this, what you need to do. So this is how I would, I would um, make this and then tie it off with the bow and have the little bow at the top. So this is one way. Pull my little tails out, little loops down, and I'll pull the loops again. And then if you want, you can always, you know, tack a little bit of glue there, however you want to do that. So this is one way to have it hang if you want a little bow on it, and then I would cut it. So that's, that's another way of, of having it done. So that is with the bow tying to learn to do this part or portion, Ooh, sorry, to do this part. Um, there's also another video for how to tie the perfect bow in my um, video section. How to tie the perfect bow will show you how to do it this way. And it's the same thing like if you had the ornament, when you come back down, you're going to bring your pieces from the back to the front and do your tie. And then we've got the top here. So I'm going to go ahead and continue with using the paracord. So I'm going to untie this one. That's my top hanger. So that one's done. And I'm going to go ahead and make another one of that. That was approximately 10 inches. I just measured. There we go, we're all set. I'll, I'll have to make another little adjustment. I'll do that now and show you. I don't want to waste too much video time, but I'm just going to push it and make the knot uh, a little easier and just kind of push it up a little bit. That one might be it, and that'll do it. So, here's our welcome bear sign hanger, sewn in the hoop, and it's done in five hoops, the legs, the arms, the body, and we attach the head, and then we attach the body to the head, and then the sign is all by itself, and um, you'll need to use the six by 10 for the sign. Six by 10 for the head is the best option so that the body will fit in the frame and you'll be able to tape it down so it is correct. And then the body is done in the, the uh, six by 10 as well. And then that gives you enough room to add the arms and the legs. And there'll be a few adjustments to that, um, to that file from what you've seen in the video so that the arms and legs will attach um, well. You'll probably, I think in the, in the new version of this will be that you're going to attach the leg and then there'll be a stitch for it, attach the other leg a stitch for it, and then it'll do its final um, final round. So this is a new, new thing. You got to watch me make this first time fresh from the first of the design. And then I will also have the video for the clothing, which is going to attach. And it'll be for different seasons, different um, holidays, seasons. I'll have, you know, different characters for different things as well. I'm working on, um, I have a few done right now. So every month I'm going to try to come out with a new 
clothing piece for it. So you'll have the shirt or a skirt or um, like for Easter, I have it as an egg and you'll have a hat or a top piece or something for the head. And then two little pieces that'll come here that'll be just little accents. So um, everything looks great. This is our little welcome bear and I appreciate you coming and watching and spending all the time with me for this little one. It's kind of a long one. And if you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up, make any comments if you'd like, any suggestions, any outfit suggestions would be great as well that you want to see for your little bear. And um, like I said, you can use other vinyls, you can use all felt. Here I used fabric and felt and felt on the back. And you can use, um, you know, multiple things, whatever you would like. If you have any questions about it, please comment below and let me know. Like I said, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet and ring that bell so you get more notifications on some other great videos and tutorials for embroidering in your hoop. Thanks for watching. Meet at the cutting table.